Hi, I'm Jake from Northside Custom Crafts, and today we're going to do some V carve inlay practice. Today we're going to practice doing a V carve inlay. Now I did this a couple weeks ago, and it, and here's what I came up with. Test piece, yo. That's what it is. And it turned out real good. There was the there was the first attempt. I had it on the wrong piece of wood, but anyway, I watched a couple of videos on how to figure out how to do this, and I'm going to link those below. I'm not going to start showing all that V-car stuff until I get more proficient at it and I can start doing some tutorials. But as of right now, I'm just going to show you that you can watch a couple of videos, and if you have a CNC machine, you can do inlay. So that's what we're going to do. Stick around, here we go. Now what we have is a, a female side, and obviously it's the V-carve inlay practice thing. So that's the female side. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. This didn't quite turn out as clean as I thought it would be, but maybe it's because I used tape instead of clamps, and I kind of seen it moving around. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going because this is practice. So, and here's the other, part that's reversed so this is the male part that's going to click in there well you see that we didn't cut this border around there so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut that off with a bandsaw and then we're gonna glue it and then i'm gonna eat some lunch and come back and we're gonna cut it and sand it and i'll go through the rest of the process Do a quick little try here. Let's see if it kind of fits in there. I still got a lot to clean up on this, on the walnut piece. It fits right in there though. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna glue it together. Now I'm gonna go eat some lunch. <laughs> That's raining now, I hope you can hear me, but you can see there's a, a space in between the two and that's explained on the videos that I put in the links. So that's enough room for a bandsaw blade to go in there and that's what we're about to do is cut these apart. So there you go, it turned out pretty good. If I had to do over again, I would use clamps on the CNC machine instead of tape. It seems to hold it down better. And then this walnut, for whatever reason, this last batch of walnut I got is pretty splintery and 
and it, it chips off easy. So there's a couple spots on here that are chipped off. But other than that, this is practice. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now when I go to do the, the project I have in mind for it, it's, it's kind of a, it's a individual's project. They don't want it on YouTube and all that. So, so I had to do some uh, practice. And after I get those little individual projects done, I have a couple of big, a little bit bigger projects to do. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, share, comment, and all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Y'all be good. <laughs> Crooked hat. So we're gonna do a... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Mm-hmm.